This tutorial assumes you know the basics of using Blender. I add a UV sphere, subdivide it, and shade it smooth. I select the entire UV sphere and add it to a vertex, making sure to click on Assign. Add a Vertex Weight Edit modifier. This influences the weight of the vertex. I make sure to also select the Vertex group. For the falloff, I use a custom curve and reverse the curve. For the influence, I add a new mass texture, and for the texture type, I use clouds. Back under the modifiers, I change the texture coordinates to global. Add a mask modifier and select the vertex group. As I increase the threshold, I can see some of the faces disappear. I now add a smooth modifier and increase the factor and repeat. Add a simple D4 modifier and increase the angle to 360 degrees. I also change the axis. I split the viewport and open the shader editor. Add a new material and add an emission shader. I add a mix shader to combine the principal shader with an emission shader. I add a noise texture and connect it to the color ramp. I connect the color ramp to the factor of the mix shader. I increase the scale, detail, and roughness of the noise texture. I give the emission shader a color. I move the black color stop to the right and the white color stop to the left to adjust the noise texture. I apply all the modifiers. I need to do this so I can animate it. I add a second sphere and subdivide it and shade it smooth. I scale it so it fits within the wisp. I add a new material and add an emission shader. I give the emission shader a color and increase the strength. I add a mix shader to combine the principal shader with an emission shader. I add a noise texture and connect it to a color ramp. Connect the color ramp to the factor of the mix shader. I increase the scale and detail of the noise texture. 
I move the black color stop to the right to adjust the noise texture. I split the viewport and open the timeline. Under the output tab, I change the frame rate to 30 and the frame end to 120. On frame 1, I make sure I have the wisp selected. Add a keyframe to the scale and distortion of the noise texture by hovering my cursor over the fields and using the I key. On frame 30, I change the scale and distortion and add keyframes. On frame 60, I change the scale and distortion and add keyframes. And I repeat this on frame 90 and frame 120. On frame 1, I add a keyframe for the rotation of the wisps using the I key. On frame 120, I rotate the wisps 360 degrees around the Z axis and add a keyframe for the rotation using the I key. On frame 120, I rotate the wisps 360 degrees around the Y axis and add a keyframe for the rotation using the I key. I select all the keyframes and use the T key to open the interpolation options. I will use linear to prevent any slow start or stop in the animation. On frame 1, I make sure I have the sphere selected. I add a keyframe to the scale and distortion of the noise texture by hovering my cursor over the fields and using the I key. On frame 30, I change the scale and distortion and add keyframes. I repeat this on frames 60, 90, and 120. I select all the keyframes and use the T key to open the interpolation options. And again, I'll use linear to prevent any slow start or stop in the animation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making a magic spell effect in Blender, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.